We all know that a seed becomes a seedling, becomes a tree. For humans, a baby becomes a toddler, becomes a child, becomes an adult. It's this transition between child and adult which we are going to talk about. This time period is commonly known as puberty. During this time, the transition from girl to woman, several changes take place. Some of the major ones include growth spurts occur, acne or zits can appear, permanent teeth are all in, body hair appears, sweating increases, waistline narrows, internal reproductive organs get bigger, external genitals get bigger, breasts develop, and menstruation begins. We'll discuss many of these in greater detail in the next few moments. Next, let's discuss what it is that causes these changes. It is during this time that a small gland in your brain, called the pituitary gland, begins releasing chemicals known as hormones. These chemicals flow throughout your blood and trigger specific areas of your body to begin changing. In many cases, the simple change of growing. And to let you see the school nurse, ask at the school office before or after school. Again, that's why the nurse is there, and he or she will be very happy to help you understand any issue you might have. I also mentioned your genital area. One of the reasons that it becomes important to keep it clean is because of the hair that will grow around your genital area. This hair is called pubic hair. It starts to grow slowly and then increases as you continue through puberty. It is usually thicker and coarser than the hair on your head and can be a different color. The amount of hair grown in the pubic area is different for everyone. Some get a lot, some get little. Of course, hair grows on other parts of your body as well during puberty. Under your arms, on your legs, and other areas. Again, the amount of hair is different for everyone. Two areas we do need to bring specific attention to, the hair that will grow under your arms, and on your legs. Most women choose to remove this hair for hygiene and appearance reasons. There are several options for removing this hair. For a tampon, you use an applicator to insert the tampon into your vagina. It holds your flow inside until it is removed by an attached string. You don't have to worry about it being swallowed up inside. It can't happen. A pad fits between your underwear and your vagina and catches and absorbs the flow as it comes out. 